How's it going, everybody? So in the spirit of the start of the NBA season with the Lakers and the Clippers playing yesterday, I figured that we should do something related to that. Since I'm a basketball fan, I found this API called Ball Don't Lie API where we can find specific information on players, on teams, and games. And um, I'm just going to teach you guys how to pull the data from this API. And there are certain things like there's a rate limit of uh, 60 requests per minute. Um, no email required, no API required, which is great. And it contains data from 1979 and it updates 10 minutes, which is still really good for a free API. So I'm going to teach you guys how to pull the data and we're going to mess around with it. We're going to try to pull LeBron James with his height, weight, what team he's on, stuff like that. So let's uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, so first things first, go ahead and open up your code editor and do npx create react app and I'll call it NBA API poll. And I'm also going to open up a new terminal and inside of there I'm going to do npm i axios dash dash save just to install axios because we're going to require it. Now this tutorial is going to be very similar to the one I made for my Dadro generator which I'm personally very proud of. And um, yeah, so once this is done installing, then we'll go ahead and keep going with the tutorial. Alrighty, so once you have React installed, then go ahead and open up your app.js file. And inside of there, I'm going to fix some stuff up. So it'd be class app extends component. And right up into the import, I'm going to import component. And I'm going to get rid of this logo. And right underneath the component, I'm going to do a render. And right underneath that, I'll do that. Save that, and I'll start up the application. Make sure everything works. And while that's starting, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this content in front instead of there. I'm going to create a constructor. Oops, just start up. Constructor props super props. And so there, this dot state is equal to let's do players for an array. So we're only going to be doing players for this tutorial, and <clears throat> I highly suggest that you guys go ahead and you try on your, with by yourself the other uh, the other array, such as not just players but teams and uh, games stuff like that. But for this tutorial, I'm only going to do players. So I'm going to save this. It should work. There we go. I'm gonna make sure we got some content popping up. Hello, hello appears. Cool, so we're pretty much set up with the application. Alrighty, so now that we're done with the setup of the application, I'm gonna go ahead and import Axios. Since we installed it earlier from Axios. And right underneath here, I'm gonna do an async component did mount. And inside of there, I'll do a const URL. This is pretty much the exact same setup as I did in the Dajo generator. So if you want a head start on that, you can just go ahead and review that video. So I'm going to grab this link. I'm going to grab this one right here. So the URL is equal to that in strings. Put strings around that, just like that. And right underneath there, I'm going to do a let result is equal to null because we're going to change the value later on. So try catch block. So we try. No, not true. Try and I'll do result is equal to await axios URL and inside of their headers accept and I'll do application slash JSON. So this is exactly the same setup as I did before. Not no difference whatsoever. Catch catch e console.log e cool and right underneath here I'm going to set the state so it'll be this dot set state of players result dot data dot data actually let's just see what happens if I do this <clears throat> so this is weird thing about this uh, API is that it doesn't go result dot data and then you can see all the data yeah you actually have to go data again to see all the data so it'll be result.data.data. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and loop through the array, or map over the array. So I'm going to do const players in the curly braces equal to this.state. 
it's all stitched together. And right there, I'll do it on console.log and see what I get when I do players. Let's see if we get all the players that we want. So let's run it. Go into our console. And we get two objects. I don't know how we have two objects. We should only have one because we. Oh, console log twice. Hmm, no idea. So inside of there, we have all the players that are appearing. So there's a lot more players than these, but they're only showing us 25. But we can actually go inside and choose from a specific name uh, of a player. So, But there's a lot more players than 25, I think, in the NBA. Cool. So now we're going to go ahead and map through this. So let mapped array equal to uh, players.map. And inside of there, I'll do player. This is going to be the individual player. And return. Oh, it's actually making multiple players, so I'll just do players. So I'm going to return a list tag with player dot first name underscore name and another player dot last name and let's also return their weight. So player dot weight underscore pounds. And that should be good. So we'll go down here and get rid of this hello. And I'll do a ul tag. And instead of there, I will put in mapped array. Array. There we go. Let's run it. And now we have all the players that were appearing in our console log earlier. So uh, some of them don't actually have their, height, their weight ad added to them. So there's only a couple, like Costa Kufus and Ray Johnson. So let's say if we want to search for a specific player, how would that look? That's, it's not that complicated. All it is is if you actually go into the API, they'll show you what they did in the API. So we can scroll slightly lower, a little bit lower than that. Where is it? Search. Ah, okay, so here it is. So right after this URL, we would just add a question mark. Search is equal to, let's say, LeBron and we save that and then we should get the player we should only get LeBron James and his weight and that's it also let me fix this key prop error so I'm going to do players key and then where do I put the key I think it's right here so key is equal to key I should fix the error perfect I also gotta get rid of the console log cool all right so that was a very basic tutorial on how you can pull data from this API um, but I highly suggest you go ahead and try it out, try to figure out how to, you can pull the data from teams, how you can get a specific team, um, mess around with the API, try, try to see what you can do with it. And uh, I do have a challenge for you guys where I want you to get rid of this search for LeBron and just leave the players there. And so when you see these, these original uh, list of players, I want you to loop through this array and I want you to render only one player randomly every single time you refresh the page. So try this challenge out. If you can't figure out, no problem. But uh, definitely do give it a try and see how you can do that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.